Right, I've got my cup of tea and I'm ready. Let's just, I think what I'm going to do now, I've mixed up a sort of pale cream, a pale green colour for in there. So I'm going to plop that in and then I've mixed up a cream colour for down here. So I'm going to wet my paper first, just on that bit. And then, dee 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 dee. It's like a creamy green, this is. It's only just green. I'll probably use this as an undercoat. I might put another layer on top of this yet. Straight through them trees, don't worry about them. Straight through them. They're okay. Right, I'll, keep, I'll just keep that on that brush. Grab me on the brush. This one's got my cream colour on. That's quite nice, isn't it? Tell you what, I'm going to do that through to there. Uh, I'll use that as an undercoating on that one there and all. Just as an undercoating, right. I'm going to just pop that up like that. Uh, right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come to this to other side now. And just, I'll go round that tree. Come into there, into there, down into there. Down there, and around my tree. I'm not even going to wet that bit. So I'll put my cream colour in there. I'll have that one quite strong, I think. So about there. Then I think I'll wet it and soak it in. There, that's nice. That's it. Then I'll just drag some of that. That's good. Some of that in there, like that. You can just drip down and do its own thing. And then some more of this green colour in here. Pop that background bit in there first, down to there, and then up there. It's only slightly, only just green. Like I said, I might even pop another coat on that. Yeah. Don't mind if it mixes in with that other stuff. Don't really mind. Uh, bit more wax around my brush just thin that a bit more well blend it a bit more there I'm happy with that I think oh right, let's get a bit more into here try and get this a bit more accurate there we are. I'll get rid of I'll take them puddles out in a minute I think uh, into there into there I might leave the odd little white flecking why not just the odd little bit there that'll do i'll dry that brush now and then get rid of these puddles i don't need puddles let's take the puddles out i'll get it dry in a minute a little puddle there and a little puddle there there. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's get these puddles out bottom as well. I may as well. Oh, well. Try that again. There, that'll do. In fact, let's give that a dab with that. I'll leave no puddles down there. Right. Give that whole thing a dry. it up a little bit with a bit of yellow see in fact let's down dampen it again a bit I think just a tiny bit tiny bit damp in places 
not everywhere there that should do it so this is just slightly brighter this is like, like that and then I think I'll get this brush and leave loads of gaps in that so we can see that under painting on underneath maybe just, let's have a look yeah that'll probably I'm not keen on it now but I think by the time it dries it'll probably end up looking quite good I think hopefully there but that same again I'll just soften in with this brush leaving a few gaps I think think that'll look good don't worry about going over into that tree a little bit not matter there I think, I think that's going to look all right bit time that dries I think that'll look good there so that's that a sip of tea um, I think where am I might do we'll just wash that brush just stick a tiny bit extra in in somewhere here a tiny bit extra to build a layer up I've just got water on my brush now I'm just going to soften the top of that soften it in there there that'll go just to build up some bits and bobs in there right so that's that now um, hmm, I suppose really now some bits building up in there um, that colour I've got that light colour I think I need to mucky that up a lot so I'll add some bonk umber into that dee, 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 dee. let's try that a bit, just a bit of bonk umber in and just try and you know what I think I'm going to get a, a shall I get a smaller brush yeah I'll just use this one sorry I just use very tip of the. I was tempted to get a smaller brush. I use tip of this one and it'd be ready. Something like that. Then I'll get a smaller brush with just some water on it and just soften, soften it around. That's looking quite good with that, I think. So I've got to leave plenty of that original colour in there really if I don't then it's just like what the point putting it in you know you know what I mean there. I think that'll look alright then I'll use my smaller brush to the side This is really dark this side. What's the crappiest invention, right? What's ever been invented, right? And I was thinking about this the other day. Well, we got talking about it in the pub. Crappiest invention ever, right? And uh, I've come up with what I think it is is the uh, bulletproof vest. A bulletproof vest absolutely crap invention right if I were going somewhere where bullets were flying right I want a bulletproof onesie not a bulletproof vest I mean what's the point in having a bulletproof vest you just get shot in head or something right? I don't even want to get shot in foot I'd want a bulletproof onesie with bulletproof socks bulletproof gloves and a bulletproof balaclava with no eye holes in it. I don't want any chance of getting shot if I were in any sort of war zone or out. So I've voted for the crappiest invention ever, the bulletproof vest. What do you think? Put your comments in if you want. The crappiest invention ever, whatever you think it is. Look at that building up, it's looking good, isn't it? Oh, I like that brush like that and then I suppose I ought to get some in there but that's still wet so I think I'll have another dry say another dry You know 
what I think I might do. Just um, clean that brush. That yellow colour there. In fact, now let's take that creamy yellow colour and just blend in a bit there and all. Just so them colours blend together a little bit. Let's take that across a bit there. That's better, I think. Right, so that's that. Right, now then, I think what I'm going to do now is get them tree, these trees in the background. There's some more trees. Oh, I'll tell you what I have done. You might have noticed there's an extra tree appeared. I was looking at it. After, when I did this yesterday, that tree one there, I was looking at it, I thought, I've missed a great tree art, so I'll put it in. So when you sketch it, you'll probably sketch it from my finished painting rather than from my sketch because you can see it better. So when you sketch it, put that in. Right, um, if you want, you haven't got to. If you think it looks better without it. Do it without it, I'll tell you what I forgot to do and all. I meant to dry that bottom bit. I want to get an extra bit, a little bit of that dark brown on there. And there you go, that looks dry. A bit of that dark brown. Yeah, a bit there where that thing is, look. A bit there, a bit there, a bit in. in there. I can put a bit thicker in here, really, if I want, because it's uh, closer. Yeah. I'll just do that for now. I'll keep building this up as I go. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Ah, right, that's that. Right, now then, trees. I need these trees so I've got a bluey green there, grey there so I'm just getting closer and closer right so I've got that I think I've yeah I had Payne's grey a bit of blue and a bit of Bon Tumba didn't I and I'm gradually adding extra sort of sorry Payne's grey yeah that's right Payne's grey a darkish blue and a Bon Tumba yeah any blue you've got and then I'm gradually building up by probably adding I'm gonna add so that one's a tiny bit closer. I've added a tiny bit of Bontumba to it. That looks perfect. It just looks a tiny, tiny bit warmer than that one behind it. Well, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, there, that's nice. Swap to my rigger brush. Exactly the same colour. Damn it, my rigger brush. Some of the ickle twigs and stuff. There's a thick bit there. I'm going to rise up another. Oh, there's one there coming up there, down there, and across there. One there, up. across there. There we are. Oh, there. Cross there. Into there. Is that another bit there? That's, that's about it. Just look like that. Then to the side. I'll do this one all with this brush. There, go through. I think I can go through there, it'll. Or maybe it's go around it. It's behind there. It'll get covered up and thrown back when I do the. My master operation. There, that's that. And then I think what I'll do is dab that in some water and just get a watery version of that colour. And just pop on a few twigs so if I stick them in like that look quickly and then go quickly just into my water and soften it all but you've got to go quick before it stains get in there and soften quick all water if you don't get in quick especially on this cartridge paper if you don't get in quick it'll stain and leave blobs there's that Looks like little twigs to me. And if you want a tad more, you can do. 
In fact, it might be a good idea to dampen it first and then stick your brush in. Perhaps let's have a go at that. I'm going to bring a bit down here a bit. So I'll dampen it first. See if that's better. See, like I've said this before, I'm experimenting as well. Yeah, look, that's better. Look. And then back in, even softer. There. That's nice, isn't it? So I'll wet it first. Try that. That's done. So I'll put my branches on that one, my twigs on that one. And that can be my twigs for that one as well. That can be for both of them. Right, stick this other background one in here. There we use this brush again while that's in my hand. It's quite a fat one. I don't know if you're allowed to say fat nowadays. Politically correct. Fat. It's uh, It's not that fat. It's fat for a tree. It's actually... It's in far background, so that's why his further back trees look thinner. It's not because they are thinner, it's because they feel the back in it. There, put some little twigs on. There. And then same again. We'll do it the new way. Do it the new way. I've spilt water everywhere. Do it the new way. Bit of water in faced. And then me twigs. There me twigs. Just like that look. Just like that. Tommy Cooper. There. There me twigs. Yeah, that works good, doesn't it? I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, right. Um, I want a slightly greenish colour for these little bushes here. I think that background green's okay. I think so. Let me sip a tea. You've got to stop and think, you see. Stop and think. I'll put this tree in, but I'll wait till all that's dried. Oh, so that's, if I put that in now, while that was still wet, blur out everywhere. Like, all right, mess. Right, so now I think I want, well, I know I want a really dark colour in here. So I think I'm going to do that now. And then add some green to it when I get to there. Because there, all, all this is in silhouette. Some sort of coming from about here. Uh, right, so. I'm going to use my little brush still. This is like a Payne's Grey. Bon Tumber. Just Bon Tumber and blue would be brilliant on this. I'm sort of using Payne's Grey up. Because I've got loads of it. But blue and a dark ultramarine blue and burnt umber will give a right nice colour for something like this. But I think what I'm going to do is build this up gradually. So I'm going to do it thinner than what I needed. So it's all sort of... I need to de de like this look. Boom, 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 boom. And let's do that. Let's mix some blue up. Let's get some... Let's get some ultramarine blue. I think that's what it is. All my blues is mixed in one big blob. But whatever it is, let's get some. There, look at that. I can go straight through that tree. Some more of that blue. Right, nice colour that is. Take it through there. There is some highlights in this. What I need to remember is about. Well, it's light lights. So the highlights actually is there on that top bit. There's some more down here. I'll have to remember to put them in. Some more blue in there. Blue in here. The blue will go good over there because that'll just mix in with my green good, so that'll be okay. Right, so that's my blue. I'm going to get some of this creamish colour again and just come back into this top bit. That's where my highlights is going to be in there like that. So I'll go back over that. I can go into there with that again as well. Yeah, like that. Back into there. That greenish highlight. Uh, creamish highlight. Into there. And then... Sort of halfway across. 
There's this other creamish bit, so I'm going to try and pop that in there. And that's about, I think it's about here. There's another eyelated bit about there with that cream colour. So I'm going to stick that in there. Something like that. <sighs> this is going to be heavy so dark. So, right, I'm going to dry that brush, get them puddles, and then I'm going to dry everything on this. And then build another layer up. Notice how I went gentle with dry fast, that was so I didn't blow that paint all over the place. Let's have another sip of this. Right, I'm going to build up thin layers on this one, I think. Right, so I'm going to get some bond on, but I'm just going to pull me in this bottom bit here with my bond on like that. Come in there. I'm going to start building up into there with my bomb top. And just remembering that I've got that eyelid bit in there. So I don't want to forget that. And that's about here. So I'll have a few bits coming through, a few eyelid bits left and all. There we go. See how my colours are getting a bit thicker and that now. Oh, I'm now going to go into my blue colour and I'll mix them two colours on my palette. There, that's my blue colour. And I'll mix that in with my bomb tomb both together. Come further back here into some of this. Um, Don't think there's not as we get back here, there's no eyelid bits, it's just dark. Just all dark. So that bottom bit I'll do just dark look. And uh, as I go up, I'll add some green dark green into that. So this now look. I've got my two colours about ending together. Bontumber and brown instead of just Payne's Grey. Payne's Grey is a bit boring, isn't it? So that's nice, isn't it? That. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I like that. So now I'm going to just get waxer on my brush. I'm going to thin that up into there where that eyelid bit is. That's my eyelid bit. Thin that up into there. A little bit jubbly. Might even add a bit of that cream colour in there again on that eyelid bit something like that, that looks nice frame again into there a little bit of that cream colour oh, bom, 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 and you know what just so it don't, don't all just drip down I think what I might do is um, dry it because I'm going to do some more dark above it Just looking, yeah, there's that eyelid bit, and then there's like a sort of layer that sort of comes along there, like that, across there, across there, and back up there, and then that's all dark, and even into there, like that. Get some more like bond in there, mix the two colours, 
so I'm mixing on my palette right up there that good mix the two colours in uh, a bit of Payne's grey in and all why not and then I'll go into that uh, creamy colour again and blend up to that top bit some of them in that's me eyelid a bit so even that eyelid bit's not it's nowhere near what you'd call light it's just light and it's other bits that's all so there we've got that littered bit there that bit down at the bottom and i still might go darker on that right i'm gonna come in now uh, do that dark green bit time we on i said i'd take my time on this one but i am really taking my time but i'm enjoying it so that's the thing with this if you're if you're doing this and you, you think you're struggling don't worry just enjoy it enjoy everything about this this it it's not about doing a perfect picture, it's about just relaxing and enjoying your centre path. There, look at that, it's just a really dark green glaze. Dark green, just yellow, blue, put a bit of bont umber or a bit of Payne's grey in or something to darken it. It's, it's literally as simple as that and I've even brought that down into there and just blended it in down and gradually faded it across there. Um, yeah, so looking at that and looking at my picture, I'll probably still build some more colours up on that take that darker um right I'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring some of them blues and browns into this front bit here just to get it more interesting in fact i'll tell you what i'll do I'll splash some damp bits in randomly right let's get some brown in first just blob it in make it random there and then let's get some of this blue mix the two together look mix the two together and get some nice colors then some more brown add more blue not gonna go too mad because I do want to leave a lot of light colors in this and all right so now I'm just gonna dab some just water on I think what I'll do, I'll just dab my water on and let it just drip to the bottom and then just keep getting me tissue and just dabbing it up at the bottom look. In fact that's giving me a nice effect like that look. A little bit of that. It's lovely that is. Some more water. Soften round. So I've got some lights, some darks, all sorts in there now. Nice. Uh, let's have a look what else I could have a tiny dark bit of brown and blue both mixed together I'll mix them together this time and just come in and just get some of them bottom bits in the bottom of there like that. and then just put, pull some up just for a few low lights in there not too many just a few again I've wet put just put some water on my brush I'm gonna soften it I'll do like softening things perhaps call them a bit softening head I don't know but I'll do like softening things there just soften that in that's looking nice to me some really dark bits some softer bits less dark bits as you go back and where's that green color let's pop in a little bit of that green colour in this top bit and all not too much and then I'll soften that in as well into more of the yellow colour soften that in that's even built that bit up a bit I'll just stick a bit of that in on this bit here where it's getting a bit closer there there we are I think I'll leave that at that come back to it Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll probably darken that down. I've got another big tree to put in there. Uh, that tree is looking a bit pale. I'm not. I'll probably darken that one. Uh, and just keep building up and just enjoy me sen. I'm gonna take my time and just enjoy me sen. And hopefully you can follow along and just enjoy it. Watch these. If you get bored, because I'm taking ages, fast forward it a bit. Whatever, I don't mind. 
don't mind if you get bored and fast forward. I'll see you on the beach. Eat it.